I was always there for you. Yeah, if by always, you mean this call is from a federal prison. This is my story, and I was writing it as I was living it, you know? I knew my dad was gonna get out of prison, and I started writing about it years ago because I was really trying to work through what it was gonna be like to try to establish a relationship with my dad after him being in prison for so many years. And what was it gonna be like to have my son be in a relationship with him? And that was sort of like the starting point for the story. Carrie and Tracy made it clear to me that they wanted to illuminate a situation. They wanted to dispel some prejudices that people have around formerly incarcerated people. And they made it clear to me that they wanted to turn that on its head. I'm different this time. This whole thing is different. You have to let him be someone who's never been before. For me, there was some unprisoning, some freedom in playing a character who was so free and messy, and she has a really different energy than mine. That's a very freeing energy. It's a, she's turned up. I just told a story that was true to myself. You know, it's a story about a woman and her relationships and a woman and her dad. For that reason, it's incredibly relatable. That's why I think it is important because it touches on the tough subject matter. And I don't feel like there's a lot of projects that have shown the aftermath and just like the, the reconnection and the attempts of reconnecting and forgiveness and having patience. You know, we wanted these to feel like lovable, real, real human beings that are doing the best they can. And so the humor comes out of the humanity. America needs to see a story of family love even when that family's been impacted by the criminal justice system. The creators of this work are very intent on saying something differently about our experience. We're trying to correct some things. That's why I said yes.